Multiple people commented on my recent video telling me that I needed to check on something. Then I also saw the same thing covered in the recent Concrete Elbow video. It seems like Devin might just be hiding something from us, and that is his true numbers on his lifts, but not the pronation lift. All that we've been seeing lately is Devin's pronation lift going up and up pretty much every other day. And that is definitely impressive and will likely play a major factor in the match. But Devin hasn't really been posting near as much about his riser lift. And what so many of you guys have pointed out is that the weight stack next to Devin's pronation weight stack keeps getting bigger and bigger every time Devin puts out a video. And in Devin's latest video, if we try to count up the weights, the number Devin is apparently lifting on the rise is pretty crazy. If we assume that the rectangular weight stack plates are all 10s and the plate on the top is a 5, it looks like he's lifting 115 pounds on the rise lift. And this is super solid in and of itself just for any puller. But for Devin Lirett, this lift is completely insane. And that's because, for whatever reason, historically Devin has always been terrible at the riser lift. Part of this probably has to do with the fact that his hand is so long and this gives him a mechanical disadvantage for the lift. I remember a video from a while ago where Devin was popping off after hitting like 70 pounds or something on the rise lift, which for most arm wrestlers is very doable. But in terms of Devin's recent progression, I don't think I've seen a single video of him lifting above 100 pounds and now he's already up to 115? I thought his percentage gained on the pronation lift was pretty crazy, but if these numbers on his rise lift are accurate, that is a way higher percentage gains. So why is Devin not showing us his riser lifts? I have a video clip that I think may explain this to a certain degree, something that may help us understand if Devin does in fact have motivation to downplay these numbers on purpose. Let's take a look at the video. Keep in mind that this clip is right after the Levon match. Dominate the rise. That's I don't even train my cup right now. So this clip is from a video where Devin is talking about what truly matters in the sport of arm wrestling. And as I said, this is right after the Levon match, so what he's really talking about is what truly matters in beating Levon. Devin is saying that in order for his pronation lift to even matter, he must first make his rise lift strong enough in order for him to dictate where the match goes and thus gain access to his pronation. Devin often refers to the rise lift as the icebreaker. And Devin has reiterated this since then. Here we have another clip where Devin is making the same general point with Ingen Terzi on a podcast. How much my training has evolved specifically from the Levon match. And I just saw very, very clearly, if you want to beat Levon, that has got to be so strong. And if it's not, nothing else matters. So a lot of theories have been floating around as to why Devin wouldn't be showing these lifts if he really has improved them by like 30%. But perhaps these video clips could indicate that Devin is wanting Levon to focus on his pronation lift over the rise lift, that he doesn't want Levon to know how strong his wrist rise has become. He wants Levon to think that he's underprepared and that he is misunderstanding the technical flow of this match. But in reality, Devin has had the perfect plan all along. Or maybe we're all just overreacting about this. Let me know what you guys think. But I will say that if Devin really is doing 115 on Rise, at the very least, that is an incredible improvement for this short of a time. Personally, I'd like to see Devin post another video update of this Rise lift.